Hey guys, Skip here, and uh, another little review of uh, where to put your planes, <laughs> or where I've kept all my planes, and my collection's been upgraded a little bit, so uh, for a nickel tour real quick, we've got our civilian section back here with our gliders and uh, our older planes. This is the Dragonfly, Dragonfly uh, FMS, uh, now discontinued and definitely looks a whole lot worse and different than it did when it first first came here. Uh, but I learned pretty much to fly on this plane. Crashed the heck out of it a lot. Yeah, I learned to fly on an F-16 too. Crashed the heck out of it. Back here we've got, I did pretty well with this. This one's never really been crashed. It, it did a circular drop to the uh, to the ground one time. It lost a, a tail up there. But uh, that's the free wing Seagull. 64 uh, millimeter EDF jet. And then I've also got the prop that would go on the back there if you want to make it a pusher plane. It's got nice little slots for a camera and stuff there. Back here you see the uh, Cessna that we just re uh, recently did. Here's my timber. And behind that we've got the uh, we've got the Hobby King Zephyr, a 70 millimeter EDF jet glider. That thing is really fast. And I've got my floats here and here. And that would be for the big Carbon Z Cub that fits nicely right there on that wall. So let's go take a look at some of the other planes. Hold tight. Okay, Garmin, stop recording. Uh, here is basically my bedroom, guys. Uh, but uh, I've got my one side of the closet here just for, for this plane sits there very nicely hangs very nicely there and right behind it in here is where I keep the uh, the a10 the great big uh, free wing a10 that I picked up last season ordinarily that's where it's at right now it's somewhere else so that was the Cessna 150 carbon Z let's see it's mosey on into here this is a busy room turn some light on start off right up here we've got the F117A stealth jet haven't flown this one yet it's going to get flown this year though up here we just recently saw the uh, B24 Liberator bomber what a beautiful plane this is guys that thing really flew nice I can't wait to get that one up in the air again and the FPV camera outlasted the uh, the flight so we're good to go with that that's kind of cool in the background see the uh, pair of Corsairs big and little uh, the FMS 1700 millimeter and that's the hobby zone or fly zone fly zone fly zone hobby zone or fly zone uh, F4U Corsair and then uh, right to the next of it here we've got the 1700 millimeter P47 from FMS right alongside of it we've got the P47 from E-Flight <laughs> Up above here, airplane I haven't had a whole lot of luck with yet. I have had it up a couple times, but now I've got it, uh, I think I've got it pretty much set where it's going to fly just right. I mean, no reason in the world it shouldn't have flown, I couldn't think of. Other than that, the CG was, was mismarked. I had a, this, a, a generic measuring device that was wrong when I put it next to something that was professional. And it was off by a couple of millimeters or so. So that might have been a, been a big difference why it was so nose heavy last time I flew it. So let's see, what else we got? We've got the big, uh, dusty, <laughs> but the 1700mm uh, P51 Mustang. She's a beaut. I got a uh, bunny there and I got a little cute little babe that I put there. Some nose art. Put that on both sides of her side too. Beautiful plane. And this one here is the free wing P-51 uh, Mustang. It says Old Crow, but it's really more of an iron ass Old Crow. It started off as an iron ass with sound. You can see the speakers and stuff here. Uh, it was crashed a couple times badly. I don't know if you guys caught the one video where I sunk the entire nose and up to about there. It left a, a crater in the ground. But uh, I put it back together and it did fly, it just didn't fly very long or very far or very well at all. Um, and then I put it back together again, I think it would have flown, but 
at that time I'd finally gotten a, a replacement fuselage for it and a set of wings. They'd come into stock before they discontinued um, some of the stuff that I needed and I put that plane back together. Over there we've got the blackjack. Wasn't really going to show the boats. And there I've got that uh, boat that goes anywhere. <laughs> Flips and goes under the water and comes up right every, every time. Uh, in here, well, you'll see now where the Warthog went to. I'm working on it out here. I just picked up a, a new set of HRB batteries, guys. Um, rolling the dice on these. I ran them with the, with the charger and a test and the internal resistance. Seemed a little high in a couple of cells, and a couple of cells were like zero. So, you know, I don't know a whole lot about what those numbers mean. I mean, I know that the internal, the higher the number of resistance, you know, the slower that it's going to deliver that charge. I don't know what I'm, that I imagine I want them totally at zero. I don't, don't imagine I want them totally. You certainly wouldn't want them up around 15 or 19. I did test with a some known bad batteries and, and to see what the internal resistance was on those cells. And the ones that would actually read, uh, they were up around 19 or so. So uh, we're going to give these a shot and, and, and cycle them a couple of times and see how they go. But we're going to trust them with, with the jet. These were only about 80 bucks a piece as, as opposed to uh, you know 110 bucks a piece. So you know, pretty much probably get what you pay for. But if you take care of them, you know, I might get uh, a number of flights out of them, at least enough to satisfy my, my needs. Okay, so we're going to pop this thing back together anyway. I just, all I was doing was getting the CG all centered and, and set. I needed the bigger table with some something soft and, and that. Um, I've got a couple of notches actually just barely drilled into the hard plastic so that my balancing stand actually will fit right in those notches, allowing me to forward and, and it won't fall off that mark. Okay, so over here we've got the, well, let's start up in the corner. Got the F-35 FMS 64 millimeter EDF jet and the FMS F-15 64 millimeter EDF jet. Right there we've got the uh, Hobby King Vampire. I made it to look as most like as much like the Venom 90 millimeter free wing uh, as I could. This one here is kind of a cool one. This is my YF-23. I have not flown this one. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to really fly this one. We'll, we'll have to, I'm going to have to either uh, take a, a lot of Xanax or something to get, get the nerves down or uh, just decide to trust it one day. Um, let's see, behind there we've got the little 64 millimeter uh, Raptor. I've upgraded that one with six with my own 12 blade fans before they came out with the hyper uh the high performance job i just upgraded it myself let's see what else we got we got up here we've got the intruder 80 millimeter edf jet fully loaded gonna get that one up this year here we have this one this is the warthog i did fly this one uh not this season but last season 64 millimeter i upgraded this one myself as well before motion rc came out with the upgraded version uh, back here, you'll see that we've got the big LX model um, YF-22 Raptor. So, have not flown it. It's got no spars in the wings, so I'll probably fly it. When I do fly it, I'll fly it gingerly. Uh, but it's got a lot of power. It's got twin 70, uh, twin 70 millimeter motors in there with uh, uh, metal housings and everything. Uh, back here, I've got... Let's see, camera went out. Try to get some light back here for you guys. There we go. Back here I've got a, uh, now this one's just, it's been dis discontinued. That's the A6M0, uh, 1400 millimeter. Uh, I kind of bought this one as a kit through eBay. It was it ended up being pretty much of an accident. I thought it was a, a plug and play and it wasn't. So I had to buy all the motors and everything else to put it in. And uh, so I put metal geared servos and everything in it. It's built, it I made it right at least. Um, the Bearcat we've got right here. I flew that just the other day. What a sweet little plane, especially now I've got it dialed in with the weight and uh, everything's everything's copacetic. Super quiet, like a little stealth, but fast as a fast as a little bee. Uh, right over here we've got the Trojan, FMS Trojan 1400 millimeter. This is the version, what is it, 3 um, or 4. It's got the shock absorbing uh, uh, landing gear and stuff that actually really does take off some of the, some of the uh, shock and stuff. 
It's a nice plane, actually. I've got that one pretty much set up. I've got a uh, sound system in it. Uh, and I think I put a gyro in that one, too, just to have some fun. Uh, make make things a little bit easier than the first time I flew it. It was a little bit off, but I was a little bit newer flying then, too. Back here, let's see if we get a better, a better shot here. I, know, I realize I'm like five deep back here, guys. Sorry about that. We've got the uh, SBD Dauntless. That's also a discontinued model. This is cool because it's got the dive brakes. Uh, they both they both open up this way. So this one comes out and that one goes down and they're uh, variegated, so I mean, or uh, drilled. So I mean, the air, air still goes through, but it slows the plane down on a dive. Pretty cool plane. And now that I can't get parts for it, I kind of hate to fly it anymore. Um, let's see, moving along, you saw the, you saw this one. Okay, this one's going up very shortly. That's why uh, uh, we're doing some work on it. I want to make sure it's right. Up here, I've got the P, starting P38. Uh, this is the Flightline RC P38, the silver edition. Did some nice work on this one. I did the. Uh, the graphics and stuff on here are all kind of custom, out of just out of just what they you know what, what was in the model and stuff and what came with it. I did my own 339th, which was the last flight uh, or squadron I guess that they used. Shot down Hero Hito's plane or something like that. And then of course the other historic B17G bomber, uh, four engine, runs on two 2200 cells. Uh, if you can get your hands on this one, guys, it's it's a, it's a it's a cool little plane. Uh, get, get as many props as you can. They they snap off real easy. But uh, um, nice little plane. It sounds real cool. Uh, I'm yet to fly it, but I've I've heard them fly and, and stuff. I've done some work on this one, like with edge guards and stuff here. I used coaxial uh, tubing from like uh, uh, you know coaxial uh, cable that comes into your house for your television. I peeled some of the cable off and took. the the rubber house off of both sides so you get a little perimeter weight on both sides of each wing and uh, ran a little strip up here I see I have to reattach it right there but this these are always the areas that seem to get damaged and beat you know as well as these plus I put leading I put uh, very clear um, gorilla repair tape across the front edges of my wings that that kind of uh, pr protects things as well so Anyway, hoping to get that thing going pretty soon. Uh, that one has also been discontinued, guys. So if uh, if you know if you're worried about your plane or you don't want to worry about having to find parts for it and you crash yours, you know you're pretty much done with it unless you can find a part because uh, there's there's not a lot available, I guess. Moving on up here, uh, we've got the FMS B25 Mitchell and. Uh, this one here, I had a hard time with. I set it up to run 4S. Uh, it, it should do it anyway. It's got 40 amp BSCs in it. But I had a problem with this thing. Is the gear would, the thing would rev up a little bit, and then the gear would go down all by itself. And as you can see, the props have been a little bit shortened, but they chewed a hole through the linoleum floor in my kitchen. <laughs> it's hysterical. And then trying to get the thing to cut down, you know, cut the throttle down, but the kept, thing kept going wide open. And then it would die. And then the gear would try to come back up again. It was just the weirdest thing. I called them about it and everything. I ended up getting a free plane out of the deal, but I was darn, I mean, I was bent to uh, to actually figure out what the problem was, and I finally figured out what to do with the thing, and I just cut both of the signal, or both of the uh, uh, power wires coming from both ESCs and just ran a separate BEC on the thing, and that solved the issue. Now I can run what I want, and I just, uh, it runs off of a separate BEC, and I don't, have any of that anymore it works great uh let's see over here we've got the well right, right next to it here we've got the uh f86 saber 80 millimeter edf jet this is a great flyer uh, for some of you guys out there that are wondering about uh you know which which bigger jets to start with maybe you don't want to go 90 millimeter it's a lot of money but you know 68 64 millimeters kind of whippy hard to see sometimes a little you know, it's, it's, it's not as nice. The 70 millimeter, same, about the same, really. Uh, you get into an 80 millimeter, now you're talking a little bit more serious. Uh, but this thing almost flies itself. It's a Cadillac. It, it just, it, it, you can almost dead stick it in. It's so sweet. Such a sweet, sweet flyer. Uh, back here, you just recently saw, probably, I did the maiden flight on the 
FMS, or not FMS, this is the Flightline RC um, Tiger Cat, F7F Tiger Cat, F7F-8, I believe. Uh, what else am I missing here? We have the Messerschmitt EDF, twin engine, twin 70 millimeter EDF. I've not flown this one yet. In fact, that's a horrible spot to hang it, but I had I was running out of spots for it. Um, so there's another one there. We've got this little uh, 70 millimeter Goshawk up here. I've flown that, and it's need it, it, it crashed. I, I put it back together, and I've flown it since, and it, it flies fine. Um, here's my icon. Now this is the original Park Zone icon, and you can't get supposedly parts for it. It took me. A long time to find the parts before eFlight came out and brought it back, uh, but I did. I found all the parts online and I put it together myself and flew it, crashed it a couple times. I was still learning, but uh, thing flies great. I've got it back together. Thing, thing's awesome. Uh, and then we've got our F-18. That's a 64 millimeter free wing. Let's see if we can get a little bit better lighting here. Right next to it, we've got the F-16 Freewing version 2, the new one, and it's got uh, uh, the Dr. Mad Thrust in it. This thing goes uh, like a rape tape. That thing went, just it took off like it was on a catapult, honestly. I mean, it, didn't, it surprised me when it took off. And here's its predecessor, the original version 1, F-16. Rebuilt, of course, because it was crashed one, two, three, four times. Fifth time now. But the fifth time, this time, it got wings, fuselage, everything. Other than that, all the components and stuff are original. Except I didn't put a 12-blade uh, setup in there. And I think that pretty much covers this room. Except I am missing the cabinet. We've got our little scenario here. A little sport cub. And down here I've got my drones and stuff like that. Got the uh, hexacopter, mini hex. Up here I've got the uh, Discovery, TV, a TBS Discovery. And oh, hiding back here I've got my drone. That's a fully automated glide, big glider on it. It's a Raptor. But I've got the uh, Vortec, or is it called the Vortec? system in there. Vector system. I've got a vector system in there. I'm still going to learn how to use that yet. And we'll open up this door here because this is where we have some of the better stuff. Some of the more stuff. Okay, right back here. Oh, we got a little tiny biplane. You guys probably recognize that. And there's its big brother down here. Prometheus. That one's just been discontinued too, guys. It was only out for a season or so, two seasons, and it's discontinued. Now, this big FMS biplane here, uh, that's been around for a long time. That's not been discontinued. It's still, you know, three hundred and what fifteen dollar plane. But uh, then down below here, I've got the big Carbon Z T28, all decked out to the hilt. With Mr. RC Sound, four different speakers, extra amps, lit up like a Christmas tree. You can fly this thing at night. I even have the fuselage lit up. We're going to get that out this summer for sure and uh, do some night flying. I want you guys to check that out. I've got the little Trojan over here. I kind of started with what I wanted, a, a Warbird. That's like my first Warbird, really. It's a Hobby King Durafly special. Uh, Great little plane, actually. I mean, I've crashed crashed it once or twice, and it, and it took it. You know, no major breakage. I think I had to uh, repair the, the front gear once. It does have retracts. Um, and, of course, here we've got the uh, convergence. Not sure if that's going to fly again or not. We're going to try it. It may crash. I was having some issues with it last time I tried it, but it may be a battery that I've dialed it down to. So didn't know if it was uh, three cell or two cell, probably, and kept cutting out. And then back here, I wish I could get you some more light. I've got the F-15 90 millimeter from Freewing. And uh, it's in a good protected spot there. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, 
hope you've enjoyed this little little uh, uh, little show here and show you what I got. The house is a little bit of a mess right now. I'm like I say, I'm a lot of projects going, projects going on. My mouth is a little bit dry, but uh, you guys have have a great rest of the week and hopefully catch you this weekend. Woke up to snow this morning on the ground. Didn't expect to see that, but uh, it didn't last very long. See you guys. Have a great week. Bye for now.